What's going on everyone? Austin John Please here and today I'm going to be going over how you can get all 80 Gratitude Crystals or Gratitude Crackles in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. There are 80 Gratitude Crystals in total that you need to collect in order to help out your homeboy Uncle Bats aka Batro to turn him into a human being. In this video I'm going to be having over there it's going to be saying the name of the quest and then which Gratitude Crystal number it is and then right above that if there's a prerequisite it's going to be highlighted right there. There is one special exception there is the admirer quest line which is patrice the item girl and you can get that as early as when you first talk to batro and then complete the quest for finding the lost daughter her actual quest begins after an imaginary affection value that's increased every time that you go to sleep you wake up you speak to her you go back to sleep you wake up you speak to her so on and so forth and you have to do that enough times until she calls you darling then her quest becomes initiated i decided to put it later in the video more toward the natural progression of which you would find that quest. In addition, there are 15 loose gratitude crystals, 10 of which you get at the beginning of the game, two of which you get a little bit later, and three that you get even later than that. Those are going to be put at the appropriate times in the video. If the little red bar down there says a place that you don't know what that is and you haven't defeated it, like when it says in prison two and you haven't defeated the prison a second time, you should probably stop watching the video then. You can add to watch for later, but before you do, leave a like. This is part of my 100% walkthrough series, which is going to be the playlist if you need help with any of the game at all. And lastly, let's go over the actual rewards for helping Batro. At the very beginning, for 5, you're going to be getting a medium wallet. For 10, you get a piece of heart. For 30, you get a big wallet. And then also at 30 is a chest that gives you the curse medallion, which makes it so you can't open your adventure pouch. But you get increased rupees drops and increased item drops. Those are going to be the treasures that are whenever you defeat an enemy, like jellies and claws and things like that. The effects of things inside of your pouch still stay active. For example, the cursed metal does stack with the treasure metal, so there you go. At 40 grab to two crackles, you get a gold rupee. At 50, you get a giant wallet. At 70, you get two gold rupees. And for completing all 80, you get the tycoon wallet, and he turns into a man, which is going to be featured at the very end of the video. If we head to the top of all of the residential area, you're going to see a very large pumpkin patch, and by the pumpkin patch is a tree. And behind the tree, boom, gratitude crystal. We're gonna make our way to those four stepping stones on the other side and we're gonna actually head inside of the waterfall. As Soon as you exit from the waterfall area, you can find another gratitude crystal right outside. And we're gonna head down the same pathway that we went to actually go find our burb and right where he was being locked up, you're going to find one more gratitude crystal. You're gonna see some wooden planks over here. You're gonna run up them. And then as you're coming up on the left hand side, you are gonna see a gratitude crystal right in the corner. Now we're going to follow this pathway all the way around and it's going to bring us to the front of the bazaar where there is a residential house and we're going to be entering this residential house. If you look to the right soon as you enter, boom, crystal. Heading outside of the house, if you look to the left, is going to be the large light tower. You're going to climb up it, but not to the second floor. Instead, only the first floor, make your way to the other side and gratitude crystal. And as we make our way back toward the Night Academy, you're gonna see an area that you could just drop down, drop down, use your sailcloth to break your fall, and boom, gratitude crystal. Inside of the sparring hall, as soon as you start up, grab your beetle, face upward, and launch him into the rafters. On the far side of the rafters is going to be a gratitude crystal. And when it comes back to you, there's no animation. How can we have to have an animation for every other single gratitude crystal? I don't know why. We only have two left and both are located inside of the Knight's Hall. As soon as you get inside of the Knight's Academy, look to the left and you're going to find a Gratitude Crystal inside of the plants. And the very last one is going to be located in Link's room, which is on the first floor to the left as soon as you go down the stairs. And boom, right on my desk, Gratitude Crystal. Fantastic. The next morning you want to run out into Skyloft and that's where the bridge is. Instead we're going to head down these stairs and into this house right here, which is kind of right in front of where the waterfall is. And inside of here we're going to find the little girl and her mom. Speak to the mother. She's going to be super happy that you found her lost daughter. And she's going to give you five gratitude crystals. That brings you to a total of 15. And then if you speak to the little girl, uh, she says, Uncle Bats told me he wants to see all the gratitude crackles he can. But how's he gonna do that? Adorable. Adorable. 
As soon as you head outside, you're going to notice that inside of the plaza is going to be a guy there and he looks super fret right now. Let's go over there and talk to him. This guy over here, he has a quest marker above his head. Huh, wonder where she's gone. Huh, wonder what you're talking about. His little sister went out for a flight and she hasn't come back and he wants us to find out what's going on. And this little green island right here is one that we are going to need to make our way to. Speak to the girl here. And she's gonna say, whoa, my bird it is not good. I need medicine for my bird. Go talk to my brother. And you say, okay. So return back to Skyloft and go talk to her brother. And he's gonna say, whoa, you found my sister. Give her some mushrooms. Mushroom spores, that's for the bird. Uh, and then you actually get to keep the bottle, which is super neat. Again, we're gonna run back off of the pillar and we're gonna go run back over to the island. You're gonna give her the mushroom spores. She's gonna be super happy for that. She's going to spray mushroom spores onto her bird's wings. The bird is going to immediately feel better. There's some crazy mushrooms, dog. <laughs> she's gonna be so, so thankful for your assistance that she's gonna give you five gratitude crystals. Great. Now we're gonna head back to Skyloft once again. And we're gonna go speak to the guy back in the plaza. Hey, Paro, aren't you so happy that I helped out your sister? Yes, you are. That's how thankful you are. You're five gratitude crystals happy. Nice. We are going to be doing housework. There is one woman who has a very, very dirty house and we want to clean it up. And I'm pretty sure it's this red one. Yes. This house is disgusting. It is covered in dirt. We're gonna speak with Malara over here and she wants you to clean the house. Okay, no problem. Take out your gust bellows and start blowing. This is going to take a few minutes. You have to get all the furniture on the sides as well, in addition to all of the floor. So I'll see you in a couple minutes when you're done. By the way, she'll tell you when you're done. You don't actually tell her that you're done. Once you're complete, she's gonna be so happy and grateful for it. Let's go over there and talk to her. She's gonna be giving you some grab and two crisp balls. Five of them. Awesome. For the record, Fun Fun Island is this one over here, the one that looks like this crazy pinwheel. And here's Doe, but he looks different. He doesn't have the crazy thing on his back. It's all over, what's wrong? Uh, the party wheel that was pinned to his back flew off below the clouds. What can he do? We are gonna make our way down to the desert entrance. And now that we land down at the desert entrance, if we come over here and use a bomb, place it on that rock. There's a very slim chance you actually knew that there was a time shift stone here, but if you think about it, that would be the way back into the uh, the mine over there. We're gonna hit this time shift stone and now you're gonna see some vines that appear next to us. Now we just gotta climb across and this whole linear path is pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna come to this, uh, the... what did he call it? He, I think he called it a disc. While making a graceful landing back on Fun Fun Island, Scrapper's gonna come over. And he's gonna say, here's your wheel thing. Bzzzt. Drops it on the ground, hears loud metal sounds. If you need something else, let me know. We get five grab to two crystals. Nice. Now that we're back here at Skyloft, let's head into the bazaar. And if we look to the left where the stools are, you're gonna see one of these guys has a quest marker above him. He heard a weird rumor. Apparently at nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. Okay, well actually it's a woman who's sobbing in the bathroom. Anyways, when we head inside of the Knights Academy, we want to go to our bed and we're gonna go to bed. Leaving our bed at night, let's head over to the first floor bathroom. Ooh. Somebody help. Okay, let's head inside the restroom. It's locked. Paper, please, somebody bring me paper. Bring me some paper, any kind of paper at all. Unfortunately, we do not have any paper in our inventory and there's no paper that we could acquire at night. So, let's go back to bed. Leaving our bedroom in the morning, let's head toward the exit. Oh, hey look at that, Colin's in the corner. And there's a little quest marker above his head. What's up, Colin? Should I give it to her, should I not give it to her? Give what to who? You have a serious dilemma, what's the dilemma? You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. I can't believe I just said that, but whatever, let's do this. So listen up, your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper, make sure you deliver it. Link then looks over at the restroom. Uh, what's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone in the restroom who wants paper? You fool, how dare you? This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter, a very special one at that. It's a love letter. So listen up, the person you must give it to is a girl, an upperclassman. Her name is Karain. She's the one with the round hat, really cute. Do not think about giving it to the weirdo in the restroom. 
Okay, we are not going to give it to the weirdo in the restroom. So now you have an option if you want to give it to the girl or if you want to give it to the weirdo in the restroom. To be honest, I don't even know who Corrine is. Like, I'm sure she's one of the NPCs somewhere, but it's never someone you actually have to interact with other than this. Oh, paper, you brought me some paper. I'll open the door. Please come in. I also should note that if you want to, you can give the paper to Corrine instead of this floating ghost hand. And the floating ghost hand says, ooh, paper, I need paper. I'm not angry or anything, I just need some paper. Let's give it the letter. Huh? You're giving me paper? I'm so happy. Uh, but this looks like it's someone's letter. Are you sure I can have that? Yep. Very sure. Thank you. I will use it with care. But I'm shy, so don't ask me what I want the paper for. We will meet again, you kind soul. So now we're gonna head to bed. And in the morning, if we head over to Colin over here. Hey, did you give the letter like I asked? Huh? You, are you, are you out of your mind? Seriously, you gave it to the creep in the restroom? Didn't I specifically tell you not to give it to the weirdo in the restroom? How could you? Anyone who blocks the path of true love deserves to be kicked by a bird. I hate you, Austin J. He's gonna run off crying. Uh, hate is a very strong word. Anyways, let's go back to bed for results. And by the way, if you're also curious, if you did give the letter to Corrine, I'm looking it up now. Corrine will talk to Colin and then Pippet will join the conversation and Corrine will choose Pippet over Colin, which does not affect Pippet at all. And Colin runs off crying as well. So no matter what, he is going to get his heart broken. Instead of going to the bathroom, now we're going to head to Groose's room and we're going to find him sleeping here and you're going to find the ghost hand above it. <laughs> Colin is having some pretty bad nightmares and oh, its name is Feeny. Fioni. In the original game, you actually didn't have the name of the person who was speaking. Uh, but yeah, Fioni, you're the one from the other day. It's good to see you again. Actually, thanks to you, I met my true love. Yes, him. It all started with that letter that you gave me. Those beautiful words of affection caused me to fall hopelessly in love. My heart is bursting with thoughts of him. I feel so excited, so cheerful, so full of life. What heart? And now we're going to get crabbed into crackles. That's gonna bring us up to 40. Neato Bajito. And now that it's nighttime, there are some Grabditude Crackles that we can get here. Let's head upstairs. And there's one right here. And there's gonna be one outside by the storage shed, which is where we just brought the pumpkins. So let's go down there and grab it. Since you can't fly off of the island until morning, sleep in the bed to make a morning again. We need to find the house that belongs to the potion shop owner. I think it's this one right here. Yes, yes it is, great. Uh, we see the potion lady sleep in there, and we see the husband who does all the mixing of the potions. He's crying, or he's awake because the baby is crying. And the baby is crying because the baby doesn't have the baby's rattle, right? Before we lost the you-know-what. No, what? The baby's rattle. Okay, now we need to go find the baby's rattle, which we can totally do no problem. And while you're next to him, you can actually just sleep in his bed, because trust me, he's not going to need it. Not with that baby crying as much as he is. And we need to go back to the top of the waterfall, where we just were. Literally, exactly how we were before. Are you going to give me a hint to the quest I'm currently doing? Ooh, it's a goddess plume. Thanks, guy. You're a weird one climbing all the way up here. Hey, if you dive off the ledge here, I bet you could land in the nest on top of the tower down there. But what do I know? I'm a stone. Yeah, that's actually exactly what we're doing. Okay, now we are going plenty up, center, and boom, baby rattle. Let's uncover it with the gust bellows. And boom, baby rattle, got it. So now let's just make our way back to the potion shop guy's house and sleep in his bed and wait for him to get there. Guess what I did? I found the you know what. Yep, that's the baby's rattle. Who's a sleepy baby, time for Betty bye. Like if you think about it, being on this island, like they don't have mass production. It's not like they can just buy another rattle. Oh great, we got five grab to do crackles. Great, Patrice, do you love me yet? Oh, you, you came to see me. Yes, perfect. Uh, do you think it could be? Oh, this sounds bad. Oh, you're such a tease. Whoops, kind of forgot myself there. Back to work. Or was I? Oh yeah, I was going to ask if you wanted me to take care of you forever. Yes, please. Really? That makes me so happy. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I need to learn how to keep these delirious dreams in check. Oh wait, I mean, are there some items you want me to check? No thanks. 
Look, hun, it's not humane to tease someone this bored. Knock it off, okay? Okay, so now that she had that initiation dialogue, we could definitely tell that she's infatuated. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this house directly underneath, which is her house. We're gonna sleep in bed until nighttime. You're gonna see our bamboo guy here, Pieter. Hey, you picked a good time to visit. Why is that? What do you mean, why? Yep, the shining star of the item check, the source <laughs> is the source of my problem. That's my darling daughter, in case you forgot. Anyway, she has herself an unwanted admirer. Now, I can't blame the feller. All right, now that we spoke with him, we're going to sleep until the morning time. And we need to talk to Patrice about this, because, spoilers, we are the admirer. And now Patrice has a quest bubble. Let's talk to her. <laughs> she says, I want you to visit me at my house tonight. I have something to say. And as we wake up, Patrice has a quest bubble. Let's go speak with her. Okay, so now you get the option of what you want to say. She says that she has something to say, and she's just going to ask us point blank. What do I think about her? You could either say you store items, or you could say I like you. Honestly, it doesn't matter. If you say you store items, you're going to break her heart, and then she says it's okay. Or you say I like you, which I like to do, because it makes her happy. And you have to say really, and then she's like, really? I do. You're not lying, right? It's true. If you say no at any point, it's the same thing as just breaking her heart. And then she says, but I understand your true feelings better than you know. You're saying that you cannot give yourself over to love just yet. You have much more important things to do right now. You have some kind of serious job that you have to attend to first. If you weren't off on an adventure, you probably wouldn't need to come by the item check so often. And that's why I won't ask any more of you. I'll watch over you, protecting you from afar, keeping a vigilant eye on your items. And when your important work is done, we'll tell my dad we're in love. And boom, we get the grab to two crackles. If you said no and you broke her heart, you sleep again and then you speak to uh, Pieter. And then he says, oh, it's good to know that she doesn't have an admirer anymore. And that's that. That's the whole thing. Now that we have the claw shot, there's actually three more gratitude crystals that we can get. And if we make our way to the top of the waterfall, you're going to see in the water itself is a gratitude crackle. For the next one, we're gonna make our way over toward the Knights Academy. Remember where you chose to or not to help out the, um, the Grandmaster with his little pet at the beginning of the game? Well, that's where we're gonna go. And once we're up here, you're gonna see a claw shot target. And we're gonna take it down. Inside of here, we're now going to make our way into essentially the air duct. And super creepy, we're going to drop down into Zelda's room. And get a grab to do crackle. So now we're gonna head to Skyloft, we're gonna call Beetle, and we're gonna enter his little flying airship. And inside of his airship, we are just going to sleep in his bed until night. I mean, I don't know if you could call it a bed, it looks like it's a, I don't know, some sort of compressor or engine part that just happens to have a rug on it. And now we're on Beetle's Island. We're gonna whip out our Beetle. And on top of Beetle's airship is going to be that one last uh, grab to do crackle. Anyways, in order to do this, we are going to head to the bazaar and we're going to come over here and we're going to buy a single stamina potion. Anyways, let's go on here and let's go into our own bed. Choose to sleep until night and then when you wake up, you're going to hear some grunting sounds. Very inappropriate. We are going to go investigate those grunting sounds. It's also weird that we share one room, but we just kind of put stuff in the middle to make it look like it's two separate rooms. You know what I mean? Hey, Fledge, what's going on? Five, six, seven. Whoa, let me catch my breath. I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. I'm embarrassed about it. So I've been working out at night. Oh, is that a stamina potion? Can I have it? Yep, you sure can. And he's got a glug, 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 glug. He's going to keep on training. And honestly, this is all that we can do to progress with this quest. So we're going to go back into our bed and we're going to go nannies. Hello, yes, one stamina potion, please. Remember how we had to wait until nighttime and then give him a potion? Well, we're gonna do the exact same thing again. Uh, just to save even more time, I'm gonna sleep in his bed until night. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's on 57 push-ups. You're feeling so sluggish? Well, why don't you have another stamina potion? Nom nom nom, that's so delicious, isn't it, buddy? Well, great. I guess there really is no gain unless there is also pain. So much pain. Uh, that sounds like really working out. He gets it. Anyways, we're gonna make our way to the Night Academy and we're gonna go inside of Fledge's room and we're gonna go sleep there. Fledge is now going to be doing some pretty intense push-ups. 3,985, 3,986. It takes longer to see those things than it does for him to actually do those push-ups. That was a nice warm-up. Uh, you look too strong. 
<laughs> huh? You're just saying that, but it's still nice. Yeah, no problem, buddy. And boom, now he's gonna give us five gratitude crystals. Inside of the bazaar, you're gonna notice that our fortune teller, I think his name is Sparrow. Sparrow's missing, and this guy has a quest bubble. Guru says, I haven't seen much of the fortune teller these days. You know his crystal ball got broken, right? I hope he's not just sitting at home kicking himself for not foreseeing this. He's on the eastern edge of Skyloft. All right, let's go over there. Crossing over the bridge, we're going to take the path upward into the stamina fruit, and then a cut a left, and then into this little tunnel. And over here, this is the fortune teller's house. You can tell because there's a ball above the door. And Sparrow's over here with a quest marker. What's up, buddy? I'm fine, go on, please leave me. After some conversation, he's gonna say, hey, I heard that you were able to retrieve things and I need you to retrieve a crystal ball for me. And Fee says, okay, I'm gonna add it to your dowsing. There you go, thanks Fee. It's right there, <laughs> that's it. From the stone that we unlocked before, we can grab out our claw shot, head on over. And as soon as we approach it, is like, hey, you want to call Scrapper? Yeah, hopefully he doesn't screw this up again. Scrapper is just going to drop it on his table. Thunk. He's going to be super excited and super grateful that we gave him back a new crystal ball. How grateful? So grateful that we get five grabbed to two crackles. Right here to Bug Rock Island. And right next to the flying pier over here, you're going to be seeing this guy. It's, it's Stretch. I threw into this thick fog and ended up on this island. And there's a whole bunch of bugs here. Do you want to try catching some bugs? There's a beginner level and a bug wrangler level. We're actually not going to do this yet, but we do need to speak with him in order to initiate a flag in the game that allows a specific quest to take place. So now we're going to head to Skyloft. We're going to call Beetle and we're going to enter his little flying airship. And inside of his airship, we are just going to sleep in his bed until night. And he lost his horn Colossus Beetle. That's fine, we're gonna go find it for him. So now we have to go back inside of Thunderhead, back to Bug Rock, and go speak with uh, Sturch again, whatever his name is. See, now he has a quest bubble. <laughs> Sturch is like, well, how's life? <clears throat> I discovered an insanely rare insect after all. Anyways, there is a challenge that you have to do, and if you complete the challenge, then you get the beetle, and it costs 10 rupees to do the challenge. You have three minutes to find 10 bugs of his choose, of his choice. Now here's the trick, ready? Take a screenshot, hit the home button. We can see all 10 bugs that we need to gather. On screen is a graphic from Zelda Dungeon that has every single bug that we have to get. If you look at your inventory screen, you, know, you now have Beetle's insect cage here. We need to make our way back to Skyloft, back to Beetle's uh, airship, and then sleep in Beetle's bed again to make our way to Beetle Island at night. Beetle, I found your Beetle. Oh. He's gonna be so happy and so grateful that we found his Beetle and brought his dear bug back to him. He's gonna give us these grabbed two crackles. Awesome. That brings us up to a total of 70. First, we're gonna go to Skyloft to the Knights Academy, upstairs back to Botanist Professor Olin. And he has a quest bubble. And he's gonna say, hey, I know you've been down in the surface. Have you seen any crazy plants there? Try to find me some. And Fee's like, hey, do you wanna find a plant? And I'm like, yeah, sure. We're gonna be going to Farron and dropping down at the viewing platform. Anyways, we're gonna run up here and up this log. And you probably remember here, this is where actually we got our last uh, tad tones. And over here is going to be a Kikwi. It's Ulu. <laughs> I should have been hiding out so long. My shoulders are stiff. What shoulders? How rude. I do have shoulders. They're just not very pronounced. And he's saying, hey, I know that there's no monsters right now, but I know that they're going to come back. I want to find a safe place that I'm never going to be bothered again. And I say, I know a place that's in the sky. And Ula is going to be like, I love the sky. And Fee's like, hey, I know someone who could lift things up. And then we call Scrapper and Scrapper's going to lift it up to the sky. Great. Let's head back to the sky. And Scrapper's just going to drop it on the floor. Yep, sure did. This is unbelievable. You found me an entire new plant species. It's precisely what I wanted. Fascinating. Should it actually be classified as flora or fauna? I mean, plant or animal. But wait, there's more. Boom. It's a bush, too. Olin is so happy about this and so grateful, he gives you five grabbed at two crackles. This puts you at 75. And whilst approaching the lumpy pumpkin, we're going to head out to the pumpkin field. 
and we're gonna be speaking to Kino over here and she's like hey I need <laughs> and Kino is gonna say if only there was someone who is really good at plowing the field yep that's where that meme comes from all right so now we're gonna head over to Elden to go find someone who can plow volcano east that's that's where you want to go great volcano east we're gonna hop down here to this airstream and we're going to head inside make sure you do a run that way you can go into the floaty position and upon landing boom we're gonna speak to this guy over here it's gold it's the one only character that i gave a voice to in the entire game you didn't think i would give a voice to someone we would never see again it's gold the the king of the magmas so we'll meet again eh? I, th I gotta thank you for your help last time see i've been searching for new treasure spots but i can't find a single bit of treasure maybe i'm just getting woozy from working so long in the heat me sometimes i wish i could find a job that really played to my strengths here something to be a cool climate then i'd be set i know a place Oh, you know a place out of work. All right. And it's in the sky. I love the sky. Where do I sign up? I'm telling you, I'm in. Let's do this hair thing. Thanks, V. Yeah, you found someone, didn't you? Wait a second. This isn't a person. So you're saying that this mole is going to plow this patch for me? Come on, you seriously trying to get me to work on a field all day? Is this why you haul me all the way up here to the sky? Well, good luck, Mr. Mole Man. What? But you, well, I suppose, I guess I can give it a try. Hey, so what do you think? Wow, look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you think? Well, there's nothing really. Rooting around in dirt's a child play for us magmas. Yay. Wow, one more time, please. Again, again. Oh, yeah, here I go. I'm so grateful that you brought this lovely guy to help me. I'm going to ask him to help with all sorts of things. I, I hope you pay him at least. And there we go. That's the last Gravitude Crackles. And now is a moment that we've been waiting for. The real true side story. The real B story to the entire game. It's time for us to go visit Uncle Bats, present to him all of the Gravitude Crackles in the game so that he can become a real boy, just like Pinocchio. Oh, you're back. And it does appear you've gathered more Gravitude Crystals. Oh my, you've gathered 80. If I'm not mistaken, that's all in the whole wonderful world. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Please accept this final gift with all my gratitude. The Tycoon Wallet. It can store 9,000 rupees. This is an embarrassingly small token of my gratitude, but I hope it will be useful to you. Oh dear, with this, I now have all the gratitude crystals I require to become human. I wonder if I'll really be able to make the transformation. My heart is a flutter. It's... Uh. Go! Well, how do I look, my dear friend Austin J? Oh, you didn't even say it. I can tell from the look of sheer astonishment on your face. My appearance has changed so dramatically, you've been struck speechless, haven't you? Allow me to thank you. There's simply no word in your language to describe how grateful I am for your help. I'm deeply touched. From now on, I plan to live happily with everyone else, not as a monster, but as any other person. Well guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and until next time, Austin John out.